Who did you get your blonde hair from? Well, I inherited my blonde hair from my mom. Heredity is the passing of genes from one generation to the next. Genetics is the study of heredity. So my blonde hair came from my mom, even though my dad has brown hair. So is that what Gregor Mendel studied so long ago, heredity? Yeah, he's known as the father of genetics. He noticed that certain traits of pea plants would always appear in the plant's offspring. Other traits would only appear in a fraction or none of the offspring at all. Well, um, what did he do with his observations? He found that there was an alternative versions of the genes, like some pea flowers were white while others were purple or pink. So uh, what are these different versions of genes called? Different versions of genes are called alleles. Other examples of alleles are tall or short pea plants or green or yellow peas. So if the genotype is the genetic makeup and uh, we can't really see it, how do we write it out to show it? Well, we use letters to symbolize the genotype and to symbolize the variation of the gene that makes up an organism. So what letter would represent green or yellow pea plants? Well, we can use any letter as long as it stays consistent and you're using a key. So for example, we could use little g's, big g's, or a big g and a little g. So how is an allele different from a trait? Alleles are the variations of a gene. Traits are how the alleles are expressed or shown. So my blonde hair is the expressed allele for that trait. And then that trait is what the letter is. So in this case, for G for green plants, that would be the trait. And the allele is the options for that trait. If it's big G, it would be green. If it was little G's, it could be yellow. Okay. So are all alleles the same or are some stronger than others? For each gene, some alleles will be dominant or recessive. A dominant allele is always expressed or shown, so it's the one that's stronger. And we use a capital letter to show that. So for here we have capital G's to show that it's dominant. A recessive allele is only expressed if both alleles are recessive, and we use a lowercase letter to show that. So um, is that how you have blonde hair and your dad has brown hair? Um, the dominant alleles are always expressed or visible? Exactly. Okay. All genes have two alleles. If both alleles are dominant, then the trait is called homozygous dominant. If both alleles are recessive, then the trait would be called homozygous recessive. Homozygous dominant will always be expressed with two capital letters, while homozygous recessive will be two lowercase. So uh, if both alleles are recessive, then would that be homozygous recessive? And uh, it would be all, both of them would be lowercase letters, right? Exactly. Okay. However, if one allele is dominant and the other one is recessive, we're going to call that heterozygous, and it's represented by one capital and one lowercase. So does heterozygous describe the genotype of the organism? Yeah, the alleles determine the genotype, which is the genetic makeup of the organism. The genotype then determines the phenotype, or physical appearance of the organism. So genotype is the letter, and phenotype is the physical look of the organism. Um, and the genotype would be GG, while the phenotype would be green? Exactly. Okay. Gregor Mendel was an Austrian monk who lived from 1822 to 1884. He studied pea plants and is considered to be the pioneer in the field of genetics. Gregor Mendel's ideas are still being used today. Being colorblind, having blue eyes, or freckles are inherited traits. Mendel studied these characters in pea plants. Plant height, pod shape and color, pea shape and color, and flower color. Mendel studied plants that had purple flowers, and he crossed them with plants that had white flowers. He noticed all the offspring were, uh, had purple flowers. In that first generation, he took two plants that had purple flowers and crossed them, and ended up with plants that had purple flowers and plants that had white flowers. So the characteristic for white flowers was hidden in that first generation
but it showed up in the second generation of flowers. Uh, here we have dominant and recessive. On a homologous pair of chromosomes, notice the alleles for flower color. Here we have an allele for purple and an allele for white colored flower. The Punnett square is used to determine the genotype of the offspring in a cross involving one contrasting trait. The traits here that are being contrasted are yellow pea pods compared with green pea pods. The alleles in the pair on the left are homozygous. They both, the alleles are uppercase and uh, the same, so they're called homozygous dominant. So the prefix homo means same. The pair on the right is heterozygous. The alleles are heterozygous because they come in two different kinds, uppercase and lowercase, uppercase A and lowercase A. Hetero means different, so the pairing of this heterozygous uh, chromosome with the other would uh, be indicated with an uppercase letter next to a lowercase letter.